We're on. We're good. I'll put my phone down, shall I? Oh, I mean, you could do, mate. Just m- messaging my VA. I said, don't forget to put those first class to... There no, we that's go. not me. No, we um, what, go on, who are we? We are... We pinky, are... Uh, no. What? Who? Who's that? No, no, I'm the small one. You're the tall one. Yeah. yeah. Who? Yeah. That one. <laughs> that's yeah. you, yeah, that's definitely. It, yeah. Um, hello, we're Dan and Mike. Um, we're here to help you with your online fitness business um, in any way we can. Um, in every way we can. Yeah, that's and, um, it. Um, I hope nobody's watching. Um, so you can't get me on that because no one is. So there you go. I hoped it. You hoped so, it. It's happened. Yeah. Yeah, the view is definitely going down, I think. I think the view numbers are going down, if anything. Yeah, they will be. We started off with people that actually interested and then we bored them. Bored to them to, de- to tears. Um, That's not why we do it, though. <laughs> I think I think what it is is they're probably on the members group for ninety nine pound, and they're probably getting that that weekly call on a Monday from us. Um, too and, much value, and they don't need to watch these because they get even more value on top it's of too much of this. So, you know. if you are watching this, um, and it's unlikely, um, but if there is anyone out there, hello, hello, um, well, it's like Will Smith and I am Legend, isn't it? We go to that point. We, we come here every single time, don't we? Do this radio frequency broadcast and hope yeah. someone's there. <sighs> is there anybody out there? Yeah, we're getting nothing back. Yeah, um, they're all dead. So zombies. Yeah. Um, no, if you can just take a shot of it, screenshot it, whatever. Just let us know you're alive. Put it on your Instagram. You know? Just be like, oh, fucking, I don't know, breakfast with the boys, or you know, whatever you whatever you say. Can't it say it these helps. Days. You know, can't say it these days. Breakfast with them. Them. Those. The, them. Them. X I X I. Isn't it now? Z what? and Z and Zong. Is it? I think so. You can call yourself what you want. To be honest, mate. Always have done. So there you go, Daddy. Um, <laughs> Whoa, let's not go there. No. Um, so you make me call you. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about VAs today. Yes. Um, what is one? Why you need one? What jobs they should do? Mm-hmm. Whether you should even get one or not? Mm-hmm. All that jazz. Because again, it's it's one of those in it where it's a hot topic uh, in the, in the mentoring space. Yeah. I hate that. I need that sick emoji come up there. Yeah. Um. And we had our Dubai event uh, last weekend. Last weekend we had our Dubai event? Yeah, um, I mean, when this goes out, this... Uh, It'll be six uh, weeks ago now. Well, yeah, like is it? A It'll long a time ago, ago yeah. Um, VA, if you don't know, what does that stand for? Virtual Vauxhall Assistant. Astra. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the only thing I could think of. With yeah, VA. I was trying to think, and you're just quick Any, at that. Anything else? No. Virtual Can anyone? Assistant. Yeah. Let's go with that. I think but, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, setter. Uh, now, there's a difference, apparently. Is there? Yeah, probably. Is there? I don't even know. Wouldn't anyway, know. We're Wouldn't talking know. about VAs. I'm going to talk about whether you need one or not, what you need them for, what you might use one for. Um, and from our Dubai event, one of the, the key things came up. So we're going to give you the gold now, and then you're going to stick around for the context after. You shouldn't hire a Open VA. Loop. You shouldn't hire a VA to do a task that you can't do. There you go. Watch that video done. You can just go now. Um... But yeah, we were talking about VAs and how like you can't really train up a VA to do a task that you can't really do or don't do well enough. And my view of VAs and, my, and the reason I think coaches love the thought of it and love the idea of having a VA is because they want to palm off the one thing that they don't like doing, which is being sociable and talking to people. Because the, the concept around a VA is when people hire a VA, they don't get a VA to do their admin for them, to do their finances, to track their... Um, client payments to chase up clients on payments to onboard clients to send them emails to anything that they can do manually from that point of view when they get a VA all they want them to do is send messages for them on Instagram because they have a real mental block about doing it about being social about being themselves and all that sort of stuff in, in DMs because that's what the majority of online co- I would say 95% of online coaches hire a VA to do that that's the task they get them to do, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, and I think that that stems from not knowing what to do in your DMs. Um, so, how people usually do DMs, or how people are taught to do DMs, um, probably you will. Want. If I was doing DMs, how people are teaching I'd people, VA, yeah. I'd want a VA. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Yeah. Um, because what if you do have a VA? What you've probably been told to do is do creepy things, like, hey. Steve, um, I see you went skiing last year. I'd also like to go skiing. Creepy. Uh, hi, Dave. Um, I see you're a cleaner. Do you like cleaning? Yeah. <laughs> Bit weird, isn't it? Um, well, obviously, I'd get a VA. I, I don't want to be fucking doing that. Um, 
and if you if you don't get the gist by now, that's wrong or not wrong. Um, we wouldn't do it. Let's it's not say the best that. Way to do Let, it. Let's say that. Or or second, it's uh, hey uh, Sheila, um, who was my demographic? If I'm talking to fucking Steve, Dave, and Sheila, <laughs> I'm sure my age. Um, <laughs> People from the 1970s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Um, I know. I know. I look 21. I'm not. Um, yeah. So um, or there's yeah. Hi Sheila. Um, have you got any nutritional training goals at the moment? Great. Um, just, I bet she's never had that before. Yeah, just yeah, just the just the other twenty uh, online coaches that are in the same mentorship because you're all targeting the same people. Um, well, didn't think of that, did you? Um, all going after the same people, all sending the same messages, um, all using the same VA probably. So there you go. Mm. Um, so I think it's because, like you've just said, coaches palm it off because they don't like doing it, and I wouldn't like doing it if it if it was like that as well. Um, do I think that there could be a time and a place for VA? Yeah, I think so. I I, I think there's nothing yeah, wrong. Sure. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the principle um, that we're I guess attacking that this you need to have a VA to scale your business. You don't because we don't have one. We've got about six hundred paying clients currently in the business without a VA shock horror. Um, just so say you, what you want these days. 6,000 if you want, just say whatever you want. Just make, well, you can make it up. Well, yeah, you can. And no one up. checks it. No, no, no. So we've got about 6,000. <laughs> we told you about the time that went first class. <laughs> um, but, you know, without a VA. So when someone says you can't do something, we can, um, because we have. And most of our, I say the majority of our clients don't have VAs. Um, and like Dan said, it's not, the hiring a VA is bad because you could get them to do other things if you needed help with admin or scheduling emails or finances or chasing up payments or bookings that it calls in or whatever, right? It, it depends. It depends on you, your demographic, the volume, the amount, so on and so forth, right? We've got um, Rob, for example, who has a ton of clients, has a ton of people through his group coaching. For him, having a VA or something like that to respond to uh, the tons of messages that he gets because he's got a lot of followers. Um, again, some, someone like Steve could potentially have a VA if he wanted to have a VA, again, to, re to respond to sheer volumes. When you're an online coach with 15 clients and there's six people in your DMs, you can do it yourself. Um, so that that's that's the thing that, that bothers us. And because you don't like doing it and you can't do it effectively... How are you going to train somebody up to do what you should be doing effectively and knowing that they're not even going to be as good as you at doing it? Mm -hmm. So, like, there is the question of, oh, should I get a VA? Well, if you aren't able to create, spark, generate conversations from your content, from your stories, being interesting enough for people to want to talk to if you can't do that and then lead a conversation and, and marinate a conversation and build a relationship in dms to the point where they feel confident enough that they they know like and trust you enough to sign up with you as their coach if you can't do that how are you going to train someone else to, to do it yeah. you can't the thing the thing that i find strange is that the whole point about va is that when they're advertisers they say that they all do the tasks that anyone can do in your business for example, right, in your business right now, a VA can take the number from your bank statement and put it across into a spreadsheet. Anyone can do that. Anyone can do that job to move from there to there. There's no, there's no social skills required to do that job. Likewise, you know, send, chasing up clients about payments, it's like if the payment has been skipped and missed, here is their email address, here is the email you send, it's written out and it's done. And the whole point around VAs is that they're supposed to be able to do tasks that are very easy to replicate and you can put some SEOs in place and sort of stuff. Um, standard operating procedures, sorry, SOPs. Um, SEO is search engine op optimization. Um, the thing that I find crazy about the VAs and the, and the coaches is that they're getting them to do a creative task. Speaking to people and having social skills is a creative, you know, you need to have the ability to know what to say, when to say it, how to converse with someone. And most of the time they pick someone who's in English as well, which is always useful because you're speaking in English. It's beggar's belief to me that when you hire a VA, you're not getting them to do tasks that are very basic A, a and B tasks, just like that. Like literally you can't do that wrong. You can't do, you can't copy text from one place to another wrong, all that sort of stuff. And that's the thing that I find so strange about it all is again, coaches, the reason coaches want a VA to do it is because it sounds good, it sounds sexy, it sounds great. You don't have to speak to people. Oh my God, it's great. But what happens when they then become a client? 
they think they, you know you've had this conversation with them. You think they're supposed to know. You're supposed to have a strike up, strike up this conversation, this personality match. It's supposed to have been there, and it and it's not. And these people then aren't great fits for your program. They're not great fits for for you. You know, and you might obviously you're gonna have a sales call with them, all that sort of stuff, right? And you might get to know them. Then I get that. I get that argument. I just find it odd that you wouldn't free up your time by getting a VA to do all those other tasks that you can that anyone can do, so that you can then spend more time in your DMs being to people. That's the way around it should be done, <laughs> is you get the VA to do all the other stuff. Scheduling YouTube shorts, scheduling reels if you wanted to do it that way. I still think you should do that to a certain degree. But like I said, all the other admin stuff that comes with that, get them to do that. <laughs> because you can't, you can't really do that wrong. There's no, there's, no other, there's no other person to come back and forth with. You should then be in your DMs and learn how to do that properly and have that skill of, guess what? Making connections with humans might make you a better coach. Just saying. Might do. <sighs> I'll say it, no. it baffles me like it just it's just weird like i think if you we're we're for vas right and i think that people think that we're probably against them i am for a va taking tasks off you and saving your time if they are doing a task that is repeatable and that any va could do it and you don't need to train them up necessarily to do it what we're seeing is a lot of people hiring a va because they're and they're doing that task that to be honest i think you should be doing and, and, and likewise, the argument is, well, it, I, it saves time. You shouldn't be in your, in your inbox doing all this other stuff when you've got stuff to do. No, that's probably one job you should be doing. That and your check-ins are probably the two jobs you should but be doing. The VA can do all the other shit. Like, all I, other stuff. I don't know how much coaching you'd have to be doing to not have that. Do you oh, know? Yeah. So we we still do our own DMs. Like, that, that's, that's the thing. All is two like, of them. My mum's all right. My mum and my dad. Because, because the way that I would see it is that it would be like, okay, well, you might need a VA to take over when you've got too many clients to, you know, to that's taking up a lot of time coaching. Yeah, but if you've got that many clients, then you don't need as many leads. So and what you're doing up to that point has worked pretty well to get leads in. So it's just a, it's just a bit of a strange one. So like again, like 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 you've just said there, it's not that we're for or against stuff. I'm for good coaching and against bad coaching. That that's a, that's about it. In in reality, I wouldn't. Well, I've said this before, but I wouldn't ever say you must not do that. I've had clients come in with VAs who use them really well, and I wouldn't ever go, "Oh, get rid of that VA. I'm dead against it. You can't do that." No, because if it's if it's working, then then cool. Again, with any other principle, I've got one. I got one client who takes payment over the phone, and she said, "Should I change?" And I said, "Well." Out of ten, how many do you manage to sign up? Usually, she was like about eight. I was like, why change it? Don't let what I'm saying in my marketing influence what you're doing with with you know, or what what's successful. Our point is is that when you're being told to have a VA to do these things, that sounds attractive to you because this the, these specific mentors know your pain points, and the pain points are these: um, you don't do enough conversations. Um, you don't talk to enough people. And you're not as salesy as you need to be, and um, you don't know how to to create content. So, what do you think that mentors do? They give you ready-made people to do your content for you, and templated content, and trending content, and they give you someone a VA to do those things because they're hitting your pain point. You're going, yeah, no, I hate doing that because of course you do. Like, we'd love to never have to create content ever again, if and, and get clients in. Well, that's not going to happen, and it's the same thing that you're by you're buying into these things that mentors mentors are just being smart with it. This is like a, again, I, I know some a specific company uses like a content factory, I think, which again sounds great in premise. It's amazing. Oh, you get all your content done. We we give you a thirty day thing. And it's all done for you. Great, cool. It's touching on the coach's pain point of oh fucking hell, I hate having to come up with content. Just because you hate doing it. And there's this magic solution doesn't mean that solution is going to work for you. And in actual fact, it probably never will work for you because everybody else is doing the same thing. It's like the clients who uh, come in and go, oh, yeah, I want to eat chocolate all day and lose weight. Well, you're going to have to stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, yeah, that's same it. Same with the content stuff. Is like The reason you hate doing content is because you haven't found a way that you enjoy doing it yet. You haven't found a way that's worked or got leads through the door. I don't think copying other people's or getting someone else to do it for you is going to help that, but right. never mind. It'd be interesting when... Um, AI does kick in properly. Um, a lot of VAs will be out of jobs because we'll probably use AI. I think as well, like just on that, we're probably at the point where right now with our business, we will probably use a VA in the next few months. 
I would imagine, I, I think we're in a position where we could train one up. But again, they would do things like stay on top of the admin and the finances and stuff like that, which we've held on to for too long, all that sort of stuff. I'd probably do that. Probably manage, like managing some of the stuff back in that we just don't need to do. But I wouldn't do them. Wouldn't get them doing DMs. Wouldn't get them doing that sort of thing. And even then, I wouldn't even do it as a VA. I'd probably just hire someone an admin who's really fucking good at that and just go, right, just do that because it wouldn't cost that much in the grand scheme of things. And I think AI, like you said, is, is going to be the thing that... AI that will do it. AI, that AI, that AI will do it for us. Eventually. Yeah. Because it will You'll be able to... You'll programs that will just go... It'll yeah, be able to replicate our tone. It's like... Um, it's like Zapier, you know, the automation thing. That'll be gone soon with AI. You'll have programs in AI that'll be able to do that. Yeah. They'll go, I've noticed you've got this spreadsheet and you've got this spreadsheet. Do you want these things to connect? Yeah. yeah. Do this, do that task, do this job. It'll be it'll be computer programming. Because even, even with ManyChat, <laughs> that's a, a basic form of AI, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Basic, basic. Just responding to text. Yeah. And then them sending an automated thing. If you program it enough to know how to respond, then it will start to, to learn what the best ways and the most successful ways to book calls are. So the next video we're going to talk about AI. AI, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do that, because that's going to be something that's going to be important. It's going to take your job. Are we wrapping this one? I need a wee. It's done, you need a wee. There you go, that's we'll how go. professional it is. See you in a bit. Have you ever been to the toilet on a first class? Not on a plane, no. Not on a first class plane, mate. Not on a plane. Train. No. Tram. <laughs> Bicycle. <laughs> Tandem. Let's just pee on the floor, isn't it, on a bicycle? It probably. And just right. whack it out. Do something, but go to the members group or something. Members group's £99. Get involved. Come on. There you go. What are you doing? Well, Send us a message on Instagram, BB members. I'm just going to make the video longer so you can't go to the toilet. I really need just it. Just keep going. I really need it. See you in a bit.